Horns up guys and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. Time flies. Can you believe it? It's already been four whole weeks that I've been back on keto. Yup, seems like only yesterday I had just started keto once again and here I am exactly four weeks later on day 29. And what's happened over the last week? Well, for starters, my weight has remained the same. I am 70.9 kilos. So over the last week, I actually did not lose any weight. Uh, the good news though is my hand has gotten much better. So while I couldn't do all my workouts last week, I did manage to get in, I think, three or four workouts. But it was mostly leg workouts because even though I can play guitar, some drums now, I can't put pressure on my palms when I'm doing push-ups. I still get a bit of pain here so I'm going to give that a break till I can properly work out because I don't know I just feel like I'd rather wait and work out properly do all my bicep workouts and things like that you know what I mean so that's really all I have to update you about in terms of what I ate during the week ate normal keto food you saw some of it the keto cacio e pepe and uh, I went out last night so I had some junk food but uh, still in keto this morning so probably didn't do much damage and when I say junk food I mean like uh, a piece or two of shrimp tempura which probably had some batter on it and probably a piece of Mongolian chicken which had a little flour but just a few pieces not any major non keto food so eating wise not logging macros but I think I was eating like a fair amount. I wasn't overeating for sure. Obviously, I didn't overeat too much and I didn't undereat either. So I've been okay. Like I said, no weight lost, no big deal. I know a lot of you fret about, oh man, I didn't lose any weight this week. What am I going to do? Life's over. You guys got to relax. Scale is, I've told you, don't obsess about it. No big deal that I didn't lose any weight this week all good anyway since that's pretty much all I had to say and I don't have any cool blog footage this week I do want to talk about something I get asked very often how can I get into ketosis quickly what is the fastest way to ketosis the land beyond the Sun how do I get to ketosis quickly can I take a bullet train can I take a jet plane can I take a jet ski can I take a car can I what can I do and it boggles my mind why is everyone in such a hurry to get into ketosis and the answer I have discovered is most people seem to think that when you're in ketosis your body is automatically shedding weight like you know here's the keto meter here's the ketosis line in your body it's just gaining weight constantly and then suddenly it hits the ketosis point and then all the weight just magically drops out and I need to make a few things clear guys very simple understand this ketosis is a state like is a metabolic state that your body is in where you're burning fat for fuel as opposed to glucose it is not a weight loss like state yeah get that you can be in ketosis and not lose any weight you can be out of ketosis and still lose weight guys so this whole urge to get into ketosis quickly needs a little bit of a bashing down and come back to reality you're gonna lose weight if you're in a calorie deficit yes if you're in ketosis it takes time for you to first of all get fat adapted and for your body to start using fat as fuel and even when that happens if you are feeding your body dietary fuel it will not use your own body fat so please understand this it is not just the process of being in keto that results in weight loss it is your entire eating plan that makes the difference look there's a reason that people can lose weight when they eat carbs as well and there's a reason that people can lose weight while on keto as well the thing with keto is a lot of people tend to automatically eat less food because when you eat fats and proteins you remain satiated for a longer period of time 
also generally being in ketosis kind of makes most people lose their appetite which is why they end up losing weight i don't think there is anyone on keto who is just sitting on their bum and plowing down food down their throat eating way more calories than they need and losing weight it just doesn't happen whether you're in ketosis or not so bottom line is guys stop trying to reach the magical place of ketosis let it happen on its own it's a journey you will eventually get there you will eventually get fat adapted and yeah no big deal it's not that if you cheated today and if you're not in ketosis tomorrow you're not going to lose weight yeah if you cheated today and you ate a reasonable amount of food and did not do anything too crazy you can still still lose weight over the next couple of days depending on how you continue to eat and how much exercise you do so just so you guys know and sometimes people feel they may put on weight after a cheat meal that's once again mainly due to the fact that you're no longer in ketosis and your body has retained water so your body is not just like piled on fat kilos overnight yeah so basically what i'm trying to say is guys be cool enjoy the journey don't fret too much the more stressed you are the harder it is going to be to lose weight stress is not good for weight loss anyway enough jibber jabber from me hope you enjoyed the update and wait most important question guys one whole month is gone i lost about nine pounds do you still want monday updates from me on my weight loss should i carry this on for another month so you can see how much weight i lose in two months and like give you updates every week on how much weight i've lost let me know what you think otherwise i'll find some other fun videos to make for you guys anyway enough jibber jabber see you on the next episode of headbangers kitchen cheers and keep cooking